Hello, Dismith Duties. And I'm the Sheriff. And this is our view of the Walking Dead Color Tops 7 inch Abraham Ford action figure. Set around. It's Abraham. <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is made by McFarlane Toys. McFarlane Toys. And you can see there's a nice little picture of Abraham on the front with his super bright red hair. And his little handlebar mustache. And little. Whatever. Big. <laughs> Wraps around on his side. On the back is just pictures of the same figure. It says he's number seven. Oh, they changed it. It doesn't say seven, one of eight anymore. It just says number seven. Then eight new figures at McFarland.com. I still don't get why they just don't show the other ones in the series on the back. But who cares? Okay, let's open this guy up. Wait, what is that? There's a little square up there. I don't know what that's here for. What's that point of that square? Why well, is there guy hair all over this box? That's not really. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a square there. Okay, let's open this guy. And there he is opened up. And I think he's really cool. He is the first one of the Color Top Walking Dead figures that I could say is truly an action figure. He's not a statue. He's an action figure. He's got motherfucking knees! Yeah. <laughs> That's impressive. Now, the articulation isn't perfect. It's a little more like maybe some of the first waves of the Walking Dead 5-inch figures. But still... It's a lot better than it's been. Yeah, if they keep improving. You said this before. Like, it's not like they don't know how to do it. They don't need to gradually add articulation. They can just add all of their articulation at once. Maybe yeah. they're just gradually articulating them because people are bitching. Well, so that's... let's keep bitching until they do a better fucking job. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but these things don't... At least where I shop and where everybody I see online shops, these things aren't selling very well. So I don't know if they'll be lasting too long. I was I... like, if I wanted to buy a statue, I could buy nicer fucking statues of shit. Mm -hmm. So I don't want a statue, I want an action figure, goddammit. <laughs> But, I mean, the thing is, there's been lots of figures that were like this. It's just that they kind of quit doing that. And I don't want things to go back to that. But this one is articulated very nicely. And we'll be going over that. Pretty nicely. Yeah. Now, I got this at Toys R Us in store. And they had, I don't know how many, maybe somewhere between 6 and 10 or something like of him. And I looked through maybe three or four, and then I got to this one, and I thought the face looked pretty good on it. A couple of them, the first ones didn't look that great, but this one looks pretty damn good. It does have a little, couple little problems, like there's some marks on his back, like right there and there. You could probably cover them up, though. Yeah, well, I don't even, I'm not even going to do it. I don't really care. I'm just pointing them out. No, I mean, if somebody else got one with marks on them, it probably wouldn't be that hard to just paint a little dot there and cover it up. Yep. But the likeness on him, I think, is awesome. It looks so much like the guy. They got the wrinkles on his head perfect. Yeah. Like, it really looks like him. Yeah, that's Michael Cudlitz for sure. <laughs> that looks like him. I'm going to miss him in this part. I feel bad, because like, in the comic, I didn't fucking like Abraham at all. I didn't gonna give a shit at all. <laughs> I liked him so much on the show just because he played the part so perfectly. Yeah, he did. And it's a shame he's gone. I just noticed now, though, something that bugs me, which I didn't notice before. The skin color on his face and his neck are way different. Yeah, his face is reddish and his neck is not. Which it should be reddish because he has a reddish skin tone. Yeah, he does. He's got that very pale reddish look. So I don't know why they didn't paint the neck right. But I just now noticed it. It's not that It's only noticeable. noticeable when you turn his head. If his head's looking straight, you yeah. can't really see it. He does have a little bit of that goiter thing you talk about him that Rick and... Uh, the neck balls. Yeah, Rick and Travis had that. It's not as bad, though. No. They're getting better about it. You still turn his head. And it doesn't look too bad. But Man, I love that face. It looks so much like him. The hair and everything. The mustache. I, I would have to say this is... My favorite so far, this, the color tops. Um, Daryl's my favorite, but he's not as well articulated as this one because he has almost no articulation. Daryl has almost no articulation in his legs. This one, 
does. But I just I just love the Daryl. I think it's so good. Awesome. I, I do like the Daryl. But this one's my favorite. Hmm. The problem with this, <laughs> the main problem with this one for me is, is they picked this costume. I mean, co costume, but I'm okay with the costume. No, you did. You only wore it for like a minute. <laughs> yeah, but it was an iconic moment. It yeah, was yeah, memorable. So it it's, I mean, it's okay. It's better than Eugene and Riot gear because I fucking hated that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't like that. I mean, I'd rather him be in something else, but this is okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm okay with it, especially since we already got the five-inch ones, five-inch Abraham, and well, I don't really count, I guess, what they've made in five-inch compared to the seven-inch because they don't go together. But anyway, <laughs> just have him show up and be a fucking giant. Yeah, just smash everybody. <laughs> and he'll be like just stomping on him. He'll be like, "Where's Diana?" Or not. <laughs> Who's, Who's Diana? Diana? Where is she also? <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's his little M16 or whatever gun this is. I mean, it looks like an M16, but some would probably be like, that's actually an M4 or an M, an M, M and M. That's a ZQ fucker knucker. This is an M and M Marshall Mathers. <laughs> this is a bazooka gun. Rocket launcher. It's a bazooka gun. That's cool. They came with this. <laughs> That's one thing that bothered me in the show, though. He found this, and then Daryl's the one that blew up the Savior's bike bicycle gang. Yeah, he dick. Why didn't you let Abraham play with his own fucking toy? And then later, it's also Daryl that fires us into the lake to blow it up and set it on fire. <sighs> it's like, he didn't get. He should have used it before he died. Damn it! He should have had a couple. Got to go. Should have got to blow shit up. Yeah. <laughs> have some fun. Not fair. But still, it's cool. He came with it. Even though he didn't really ever get to fire it. And he comes with a base, which they're all basically the same. The only thing ever different is what it says here. And this is sometimes in a slightly different position. And every single time we open one of these, the base goes flying out of the package because we always fucking forget. Yeah, it's like they got a little catapult built into it. It just shoots it <laughs> out. Like it. a little spring and goes thunk. <laughs> so let's go over articulation because this is the most articulated of the Walking Dead Color top figure so far. And showed you the head. It can spin. It really can't go back and forward that much, but it can spin. But up the shoulders. See, it just the way he has a suit, you'd think he wouldn't be able to do much. Like it'd just be a cut like that. But it can actually go out. And that is really cool. Then at the elbows, there's lots of articulation there. And it can spin. And I have to show the other elbow because it's even more articulated. That is as much articulation that a double joint usually gets you. But it's just a single joint. That's really cool. That's something like even NECA. Like I was just, I was reviewing the Terminator figure. Terminator figure can't do this. There's that iconic picture of the Terminator holding his gun up like this. You can't do it. <laughs> but Abraham can. So that is cool that he has that articulation. Abraham can. <laughs> Wish he had like a saluting hand, because he'd be like, who? <laughs> Is that the wrong hand though? I don't know. I think it might be the wrong hand. <laughs> I, I don't have know. No idea. But yeah, the articulation. I think it is supposed to be the right hand, and that's the right hand. Huh. Well, the articulation in the arms is good. But the wrists, it can spin. There's a little bit of back and forward motion. One of the problems with the articulation is the. Oh. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Yeah, he should have an alternate hand that you can pop Look out. Look at the thumb. Turn it off like this. Look at that thumb. <laughs> it just the, looks ridiculous. The thumb's meant to go right there. You can also use it to hold like the gun, the other guns, but it should. <laughs> can you stick his thumb in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you probably could if it was on this hand. Yeah, but this hand doesn't. Oh, you can almost get it. <laughs> you can face palm kinda. Oh man, Rick, what are you doing? <laughs> And there's Abraham in one of his many poses, as posed by Zombie Cat. <laughs> he's displaying his artillery. And he's going to use him at the same time. He's shooting those zombies he up in the sky. He can't use them at the same time because he can't hold them right. <laughs> <laughs> he's shooting the zombies in the sky. And throwing the other gun at him. Yeah. I don't think he's probably pulling the trigger on this one, but... Yeah, hey, that's the one he's throwing at them. He's just going to throw the gun at him. Oh. <laughs> 
You can't see me. <laughs> yeah, the articulation up here is good. Now, there's nothing to the torso. That's another thing they could have. That would really mess up the sculpt on this because that needs to be really straight looking. But they could have a cut underneath the jacket. Yeah, well, that wouldn't really do much, but other twist his legs. That's a tough call on an outfit like this to have a cut there or something or a joint. Well, if the the jacket was more flexible and there was a cut underneath, it could work a little bit. Yeah. Now he does have joints here, well, cuts, I should say, and they're not very good cuts, but they still work. It's just that. The cut should be up a little higher, and his jacket would interfere if they were. But it just kind of looks weird once you start doing stuff. <laughs> like, what is that? That's going hot. <laughs> Look at that butt. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> that just looks bad. <laughs> but don't for the I I love the five inch too, but the five inch like the Daryl they look ridiculously retarded when you start moving their hips around like this so it's not like the color tops suck at this alone so do the five inch when you start moving shit around at their hips no, yeah but it's they at least move better than yeah they have better articulation at their hips on the five inch at I'm, least on the new ones not on the old ones i mean there's there's two different schools of thought on that and for me i'd rather sacrifice the look to have the articulation as long as the look is still decent i'd yeah. rather they move mm -hmm. Like, the, ever since they started the Darrow articulation, it's been good. But before that... Just don't look at their butts. Before that, they just had that, <laughs> c like, not cut, but, like, they couldn't do much with their hips before that. It was a very weird hinge they had before. Yeah. But he's got a joint there at his knee. And it can spin. And down at his ankle, it can spin a little bit. And slightly move there. So the articulation isn't is what it, it isn't what I'd want it to be, but it's still enough that I would call this an action figure and not a statue. Yeah, finally. Now hopefully they keep that up. I don't know if they will or not, because it could just be figure to figure. They might be like, well, we're going to give this one articulation, but the next one we're not. So I don't. Well, know. I don't know because he doesn't need the articulation more than any of the other figures did. No. So maybe they did listen to fans and get more articulation. I don't know. They really should listen to collectors because they're the ones that are going to keep buying. Yeah. Like, I just most, don't... most like normal people that aren't collectors might buy a figure or two and that's it. But the collectors are the ones that are going to go out and buy your shit consistently and they're the ones you should listen to. So there's Abraham with the rocket launcher. You can do this a couple different ways because he can also be holding this little handle here. Or you could have it up on the shoulder. Try to do that. Uh, I think I got this to look like he was using both hands on it before, but it was a little difficult. Something like that I did. Or, well, that don't look right. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> well, there he's kind of holding it with both hands. Sort of. Mr. Evil Cheese is having some difficulties with positioning the toy because he is extremely intoxicated. Yeah, I was like, wow. <laughs> moving this playing hand. with it for like five minutes. Well, I don't think you can get like a perfect two-handed no. aiming thing with this rocket launcher, but you can get close. I think mostly you probably want to like have it positioned like that or something, or maybe up, sitting up on a shoulder like that. Which works, but I'm probably gonna have the M16 in this hand. I like that one better. And he actually uses that. Yeah, the rocket launcher makes me sad because he never got to blow anything up. No. Everybody should get to blow shit up in the apocalypse. <laughs> that should be like a rule. Especially if you're the one that found <laughs> the, the freaking rocket launcher. I know. <laughs> Fucking Daryl. Mm. What a dick. <laughs> no, we already looked at his face a little bit, but there it is up close. A nice little squint going on. I I'm very happy with the the face likeness on this one. Me too. Like the the hair, the mustache, the face, everything's pretty good. Mm hmm. Now his his jacket is pretty plain, but 
that's the way it's supposed to be, I guess. The, there is a slight issue with the, the matte finish they did on it, because in some spots it's shiny. Like it's messed up. Yeah, just but randomly. overall, I still like it. It's just a little bit messy <laughs> with the finish. I like that they got the button... The bottom button's not in. <laughs> I never, I didn't notice it was like that on the show, but I'm assuming it probably I was. Did. Well, it doesn't look as much like it on the toy, but on the show, I don't think he could bottom button the bottom button. Like, it looked oh. like it was a bit tight on him. Oh. And there's his pants. Pretty plain, but they look nice. There's his boots, and they look pretty good. So, I like the sculpt. I like the paint. The only issue I got is his... Face and neck are a different color. And a couple of. And that's little, really not that noticeable. A couple little blemishes on the back. Overall, he's pretty damn good. Yep. I like him a lot. You can also get the M16 in a pose like this, so it looks like he's shooting it. You might be able to even get it up a little higher. So that's cool. It's not just that pose. I don't know, that's something I said earlier, it wasn't on camera. It annoys me that. He's one of the figures that's finally posable, but on the back of the box, they have three pictures <laughs> of the figure in the exact same pose, but at different angles. Yeah. Like, they couldn't have done different fucking poses? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> they should have. To get the people who are bitching about their articulation to be like, hey, articulation. Oh, he can actually do shit. <laughs> he can do this also. <laughs> I will bite you with my knee mouth. So there's Abraham next to the other three main Walking Dead series 7-inch figures. You got Rick, Daryl, and Michonne. Which I really liked Daryl and the Michonne. The Rick's a little meh because his face is weird. And he's wearing lipstick. Yeah, they, that figure's kind of messed up. In many ways. But I do like these two, especially the Daryl. I really like the Daryl, but there's one thing that bothers me a lot that doesn't bother you as much, and it's that extra little piece of hair they added in his face that they obviously tacked on afterwards because it doesn't match the rest of his hair, and they just added a random piece of hair for no reason. I hate that! <laughs> I hate it! <laughs> but I think they look cool together. For yeah, they do. Even though these three are just basically like slightly posable statues, they all look pretty nice, other than, you know, like what we just said about Rick. And what you said about Daryl. So, I'm pretty happy with this. I like that the color top figures seem to be getting more articulation. I don't know if it's just they're doing it on purpose, or if this one just happens to have more articulation. I really hope they get more and more, because for me, my issue was never with the scale. I would rather have 7 inch figures, but I don't like statues. I want figures. Yep. Action figures. Well, Carl and Jesus are coming up next. So hopefully they'll have more Fuck Carl. <laughs> I don't like Carl. I never have. But I like the I like the sculpt in this. I like the paint. Is two accessories he comes with. The articulation isn't perfect, but it's a lot better. And I really I really love this elbow articulation. That is really good there. It's not even a double joint, it's a single joint, and has really good articulation. They did a pretty damn good job on him for what we've gotten so far. I think he's pretty good. And he makes me nostalgic! Nostalgic? That just happened. I know! Well, I know what it means. Whatever. Just Mr. Chief Cheese. <laughs> I'm so big cat. Thanks for watching, go back. So Rick, you think we should shoot them walkers now? No, Abraham, maybe wait till they get a little closer. Sounds like a good idea, Rick. Don't want to waste the bullets. So I want to ask you something, Rick. What is it, Abraham? Well, you know how Glenn and Maggie have her baby? Yeah. Well, me and Sasha are thinking about having a little baby of our own. What the hell's wrong with you, Abraham, you stupid idiot? Don't freaking have no babies. You nuts. Well, jeez, Rick. What's wrong with me having a baby? Well, maybe. Because, like me and Glenn were talking, we're both pretty sure there's some guy with a baseball bat Covered in barbed wire that he calls Lucille is probably going to bash her head in some days. It just sounds like something will probably happen. You don't got thought of this? Well, I did, but he thought it would probably happen to you because I thought it would happen to him, but he said, nah, it probably sounds like something happened to you. Oh, that's weird. 
That's a weird thing to say about somebody. Very specific, weird thing to say about someone. Yeah, it is kind of. Sorry about that. But I just, just what I think will happen. If you have a baby, or try to. Well, geez, Rick, you just ruined my day. You're like a dead cat hanging from a flagpole. What? You're dead cat hanging from a flagpole. Okay. So it's, we, I was thinking maybe if it was a boy, we'd name it Negan. That's what Glenn wants to name his. What? That bastard. I came up with that name. He stole it from me. You came up with Negan? Yeah. That's a really stupid name. He said he came up with Negan because it's like rearranging the letters of Glenn, but just taking away an L and adding an E. What an idiot. I made that name up. My name. Negan. Good name. Sounds like the guy with the baseball bat would be called Negan. That's what I told Glenn. Ugh. I hate you. Sasa. You know what she wants to name him? What? She wants to name Stoogie after Bob Stoogie. Yeah. <laughs> You gonna name Stooky? <laughs> you named baby baby Stooky. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's better than you can. I gotta I gotta go to almost home. You can name the baby Stooky. You can take care of these walkers. Mother Dick. Oh damn it, man! You see them other pictures there? Why don't you click on one of them to see the video? Or you could subscribe and eat. Oh damn it!